Hello everyone. In this video I'm going to show you how to carry out functional synthesis in NC launch of Cadence. Now I am on the client side of a Cadence server. So I'm going to use Putty as my SSH client. It is the IP of the server. Now I'm going to use Xming as my uh, display server so I'm going to check this enable x11 forwarding uh, well that's all now as it's very hard to work in command line interface we are not used to it so I'm going to invoke the desktop manager of the server the server is based on a sent OS operating system and its desktop manager is Nautilus. So I'm invoking Nautilus. Now I'm going to create uh, a directory for carrying out my uh, experiment. I'm going to name it experiment 4 and inside it I'll create another directory where my files will be created the Verilog files and on the same hierarchy I'm going to need a file named cds.lib and hdl.var these two files are required for telling cadence that uh, which configuration I'm gonna use in my uh, synthesis or functional verification now inside cds.lib I have to uh, tell cadence that uh, which, directory I, which directory I'm gonna use as my library so I'm gonna define my lib this will be my library name to be dot slash work underscore dir that is the directory name and inside hdl.var I have to specify which library I'm gonna use I have defined in cds.lib that my library directory is work underscore dir and in hdl.var I am defining hash define work which means working directory which is my underscore lib. Well that's all for uh, configuring the environment. Now we are going to need the Verilog files. Now it's the main thing which we are actually going to do <coughs> is the functional synthesis. I'm making a very basic AND gate which will have two inputs and one output. Well this file is very straightforward, uh, very log. Well now for testing it we'll, uh, we'll have two create a test bench file which is also very log at first we have to uh, create the input output signals in test bench all the input signals are to be uh, defined as register and all the output signals to be wire we have to create an instance of the device we are going to use uh, my device is basic and and I'm going to name its instance to be duty which stands for device under test I'm renaming the pin names because I want to remove the confusion. Uh, the pin names inside the basic AND module are A, B, and OUT, and inside my test bench is MA, MB, and MOUT. 
the naming convention is dot the name of the pin inside the module then inside the bracket the name of the pin inside the test bench now the main part of the test bench inside the initial begin uh, I'm going to initialize the variables uh, MA MB to be 0 initially and then I'm going to create an uh, infinite loop to switch the signals so that I can see the different output of the different combinations So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a for loop which will toggle the pin MA once per 5 unit time and then it will toggle the pin MB. That means pin A will toggle every 5 unit time and MB will be toggled every 10 unit times. Uh, well, if you don't understand it, just think about the for loop, you will get it. Now, we have to save the simulation data. That's why I'm writing shm open, shm db in write mode, shm probe is which stands for all the signals I'll continue my simulation for around 25 unit time uh, unit is nanosecond and then I'll close the database at after five unit time delay well that's all inside Vlog. now I'm going to launch NC launch. At first, we have to specify the design directory, the directory which will con which contains the CDS file. Uh, my lib is loaded. Then, uh, then I have to compile the files. The compile sequence is important at first we have to compile the module then we'll have to compile the test bench so i'm selecting the basic and v first then test bench dot v and then compile then inside my lib the test bench elaborate then snapshot module then go to simulation It will show your module there, test bend, run the simulation, go to the web viewer window, and that's all. Uh, we don't need that i variable. Here we can see that it's actually performing basic AND between two inputs. So that's how we can execute our functional synthesis.